There are two main ways for recording the audio output of your DAW inside your Mac for the purpose of creating tutorials or beat making videos. If you have an audio interface with a loopback feature, you already have this functionality right out of the box. But if not, there is a free way to do it that works with any audio interface and even with your Mac's built-in sound card. And in this video, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. And you can also use this for sampling from any application on your Mac, such as YouTube, in your browser, Spotify or Apple Music, etc. Oh, and by the way, make sure to install OBS Studio as I'm gonna show you how to set up the screen recording and audio recording there. But let's get straight into the tutorial now. So the way this works is we need to install a virtual audio device that will route the audio from one application to the other inside our Mac. For this purpose, we're gonna be using Black Hole, which is a free virtual audio device and you can download it from Existential Audio. I will put the link in the description of the video. So Existential Audio requires us to provide our email to download it. And here we are the download page to download the two channel version. It is enough for this purpose and install it. After you've installed Black Hole, you go to the audio MIDI setup on your Mac and you should see Black Hole 2 channel as an audio device listed on the left hand side. Now we need to create a multi output device. Why do we need to do that? The reason we need to do that is that we need to clone the audio stream from our DAW into two streams. One stream, we will route it to our recording application and we're gonna be using OBS for this purpose in this case, or you can use QuickTime, the built-in application inside your Mac. And the other stream is the one that you're gonna be actually hearing because you need to hear what you're doing, right? So to create a multi output device, we click the plus sign down here, create multi output device, and so if you're gonna be using our built-in audio output, we need to have this ticked, or you can also use your audio interface, but I'm gonna be putting a check mark next to the built-in output and to black hole to channel. And we need to enable this drift correction here for the virtual audio device. This is very important, otherwise it may not work correctly. In my experience, it didn't really work for me until I ticked this box now inside our daw and in this case i'm using ableton live we go to our audio preferences and for audio output device we set up the multi output device so we launch our obs and if we and if you don't have experience with that you can just use this auto configuration wizard optimize just for recording if you're not going to be streaming use 30 frames per second 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution. And so here are the settings that OBS has chosen for us. We're gonna apply them, but you can go into the OBS audio settings to set up better quality or whatever you prefer. But for the purpose of this beginner tutorial, we're gonna stick to what OBS is suggesting for us. And in order to set up the recording, now you can see the mic here that is being recorded. You just press the plus button here and you add, first of all, the display capture so this will record the screen of what we are doing on our computer and in terms of audio we need to add a audio input capture and so this is the one that we're going to call computer audio and for a device we're going to choose black hole two channels and so before we record in OBS, I would go to preferences and set up the output for the recording format. By default, we have this MKV format, but this needs to be remixed in order to be able to use it. I actually use the MOV format, which means the file is ready to use right after the recording. And also before recording, we're just gonna make sure that our screen fills up the recording space properly by resizing it here. So we start recording and play our Ableton session. And after we're done, we're gonna stop recording. And our recording will be in our movies folder inside our Mac. So that was pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to give you more information and elaborate on some of the aspects 
of recording your screen or audio or streaming in OBS for the purposes of beat making videos and the kind of stuff that I do on this channel. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.